today I'm going to show you how to wire a light to an 8-pin relay. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. Today we're going to talk about adding lights to an 8-pin relay so that when you press your start button the green light will come on but what we're also going to do is we're going to hook up the red light so when we turn power on to it the red light will be on when we press the start button, the red light will go off, the green light will come on. I'm going to show you how to wire that through the 8-pin relay. Okay, so we're going to add lights today. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing you back to our diagram. We've already wired the start-stop to the 8-pin relay, which you can watch in another video. I've also showed you how to hold the relay in another video. Today what we're going to do is we're going to add our lights to that relay. Again, if you haven't seen my 8-pin relay video, my explanation of it, please cl click the link above and watch that so that you get a better understanding. Okay, so when we look at this ladder diagram here, you can see we have a normally closed contact. The normally closed contact is going to be found on the 8-pin relay, which I will show you that in a second. I also have a normally open relay, or excuse me, I also have a normally open contact that's also on my relay and I'm going to show you how to wire that. They're basically connected through because remember, a sing this is basically a single pole switch. So we have power going in and whichever side we decide to turn on, that's what's going to energize our light. I mean again, I always say, you know, take one wire at a time and think about everything as a single pole switch and a light. If you keep that, if you keep that in perspective, motor controls is very easy. So let me show you where to find these on your relay. Here's our diagram of an 8-pin relay. This is our relay base that we're dealing with. And remember, we're only dealing with relays. We're not dealing with anything else, okay? Ice cube relays. The first thing I need you to understand is, you know, we brought 120 volts into one in order to power our hold, okay? Because if you remember in the last video that if you watch my holding video, which is in the link above, you'll remember that when we energize the coil, our contacts change. So our contacts go from normally open and normally closed to open and closed. Okay, so again, to kind of you know, bring you up to speed, our holding, when we energize the coil, power goes from, from terminal 1 to terminal 3. When looking at this relay, terminal one is where we're carrying our unswitched 120 volt power. Okay, that power is connected with four and three. And again, like I said, it's in another video, so go ahead and watch one of my eight pin relay video. Terminal four is gonna be normally closed. Tor terminal three is gonna be normally open. Meaning, when we energize that coil, Terminal four is gonna open, terminal three is gonna close, okay? Meaning power is gonna be transferred from four to three. Okay, that's all done internally through your coil, with your coil, in your relay. I'm gonna show you this in a demonstration, so this is gonna make, make it a little bit easier. Okay, so you have to remember, power comes in on one, four and three are the terminals we're gonna be using. We're also gonna hold it. I press the start button, the green light comes on, the red light goes off. When I press the stop button, the green light goes off and the red, red light comes on. Let me show you how to do this. Here's your green light. And basically, this lens can be changed. It could be amber, could be red, you know, it could be blue, anything you want, okay? One thing you have to remember with these bases, polarity does not matter on these bases. So either one of these can be the neutral, either one of these can be the hot, okay? This is a very universal part, and this is what we like to use in the field. Let me show you how to wire it. All right, so 
Here is my green. Here is my red. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the red to the normally closed. We're going to connect the green to the normally open. Now it's very simple. Fuck, right? The nice thing with this is I can run off my terminal strip, my neutral, and it can, it can connect to my green light and then down to my red light. Okay, I'm not going to splice it. I'm not going to, I'm going to use the terminals because I can put two wires on a terminal. I'm going to connect my two wires. I'm going to land my one wire down here. My neutrals will be done. Then I'll take my green and that will go up to my normally, uh, normally open. And then I'll take my red to my normally closed. All right, so let me show you how to do this. Okay, I first take my white wire. Okay, now my white is connected from my neutral bar to my green light down to my red light. Now I'm going to connect my green light to my normally open contact. Okay, that's my normally open contact. I'm gonna bring my wire through. And I'm gonna run to my green light. Okay, so unfortunately the work is, you know, a little messy. I'm not going to put tie wraps and sticky backs and all kinds of things in this trainer because, you know, I'm going to be taking this apart and using it over and over again for demonstration. So, you know, one of the things you want to use that's very important is making sure you're neat. My, my, my plan right now is to show you guys that this is where these wires go. Let's make, make the connections. Once you understand the connections, 
then you can worry about making it neat. Okay, so now that we're done here, close this. And let's see if it works. Okay, so as you can see, my red light is on and my green light is off. Okay, I just turned the power on. So in this case, it would be like a piece of equipment needing or ready to run. So it's telling you that it, the red light is on, that means the piece of equipment is off. Now I need to manually start this piece of equipment. So I'm gonna press my green button. When I press my green button, my green light comes on and my red light went off, meaning that my motor or my piece of equipment is now running. When I'm done using this equipment, I hit my red button, it turns off my green light, and it turns back on my red, letting me know that it is now safe for me to, to use. Now, we can use the red button as emergency stops anywhere we want. We can use multiple different buttons to shut things off. We can have different lights at different locations, okay? It really does depend on what type of work you're gonna be doing. It's gonna depend on what you're gonna to need to wire this up, okay? This is a very basic how to wire lights video. All right, so that's pretty much it. Wiring lights is very simple. You just need to make sure that you have your neutral and that you have some type of switch leg going to the light. It doesn't get any easier than this. Okay, you just have to know what contacts go where and by following the diagram or the ladder diagram or even a schematic, you should have no problem figuring out where your wires go. So with that being said, I hope this video helped. If this video helped, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. As always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. You know, if you've seen something in, these, in this video that, you know, maybe you have a comment for or maybe, you know, leave me a comment down below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. As always, have a great day and be safe.